Here I'm gonna talk about another capture ray scenario. Big eye with a small eye. What does that mean? It means in the capture rays, both sides have one eye. Black has one eye here, white has one eye, too. What is a big eye? First, it has to have at least four spaces inside its one eye. Second, it has more spaces than the other side. So in this case, black has four spaces inside its big eye, and it has more spaces, four against two. So black has a big eye, and white has small eye. How to count liberties in this case? We know white has one, two, three, four, five liberties. Black has black has a square four, so that's five liberties. But white has a stone inside, so that's four. How about shared liberties? In a big eye versus small eye scenario, shared liberties belongs to the side with the big eye. It's very similar to one eye versus no eye scenario where shared liberties belongs to the side with the one eye. So now black has four plus two, six liberties, and white only has five. So in this capture race, black wins. Let's verify. White plays here, black plays here. White plays here, black plays here. White here, black here. White here, black captures. White plays here, black at hurries. Now this white group is dead. You might ask, what if white don't fill in the shared liberties? Could it be co-live? The answer is no. If white don't fill in the shared liberties, black can do so if it has a big eye. Let's see. At this point, if white plays elsewhere, black first plays here, white plays elsewhere, black plays here, white plays elsewhere, black plays here. Now white cannot play here, so let's say white plays elsewhere, black captures, white plays here, black out hurries. So white is still dead. Notice one important point. The big eye has to have four or more spaces inside. If it only has three or less, it's no longer a big eye. Suppose we change the setup, like here, and here. Although now black has more spaces than white, but it's less than four, so it's no longer a big eye. In this scenario, it's a co-live. We can verify. White plays here, black plays here. Now white don't have to play anymore. White can play elsewhere. Black plays here, white can play elsewhere. Now black cannot play here. If black captures, white plays here. Now we see neither side can fill in this space, so it's co-lib. So big eye has to have four or more spaces inside. Let's look at another example. In this case, can you count the liberties? So black has a big eye, it has one, two, three, four, five spaces, and white has small eye, four spaces. So we say share the liberties belongs to black. So white has square four, that's five liberties, five, six, seven, eight liberties. About 
for black. This is radio five, so that's eight liberties. White has one stone inside. That's seven. Seven liberties. Eight, nine. So black has nine liberties, and white has eight. So in this case, black wins the capture race. We can verify that quickly. White plays here, black plays here, 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 here. Atari and white is dead. So to recap, in the capture race scenario, when one side has big eye, the other side has small eye. The share of the liberties belongs to the side with the big eye. So big eye has big advantage. So in the capture race, when you cannot make two eyes, try to make your eye as big as possible. And try to reduce your opponent's eye to as small as possible. That's it. Thanks.